Hello everyone. Today we would create a quick script that allows us to export PDF and DWG files with custom names. We would also use Dynamo Player to make this workflow more accessible for other users. Let's get started. For this script, we would need to use three extra packages such as Crumple, Archilab, and GeniusWalkie. There are many useful and free Revit plugins that assist with custom name build for PDFs and DWGs. However, if you are unable to use them, this workflow might assist you with your task that's not only renaming all files according to the needs, but also take into consideration different sheet sizes and its orientation. Also note that this script would only work from Revit 2022 and newer versions. To start with, let's define the endnotes which we would use today. Right click and type revit.export PDF from crumple package and export DWG in document from GenuSoki package. Now let's define the PDF exporting options. With the new updates from Revit 2022, the default PDF size would be defined by the sheet size which was selected when the sheet was done. In other words, if you used A1 sheet title block family, the default PDF export option would use A1 sheet size too, which means that we don't need to define different sizes in the script. Search for Boolean and connect it to all export PDF options. However, if you want, you can change according to what you need. Now search for view sets, which would give all available view sets in the current project. Search for view sets.views to get all sheets from the selected view set. Get sheet.sheet name and sheet.sheet .sheet number nodes, which would be the base of the new PDF name. Now we need to obtain more specific parameters such as the current revisions of each sheet. To do that, search for Element dot get parameter value by name, create a code block and type down the current revision. For this example, I created three extra sheet parameters to show how we can establish a custom PDF name using pretty much any shared or project parameters. You can copy and paste these two previous nodes and change the parameter name accordingly. I call them Ori Company, Code and Level to indicate as something which we might be constant override across multiple sheets. Now let's combine new names for the PDFs. To do that, search for list.create and add an equivalent number of items. Search for list transpose to swap the position of columns with rows in our list.create node. Now we need string.join to build our name and choose a separator, hyphen in my case. The next step might be slightly confusing, but basically what we need is uh, to bring down the level on which we receive the result, so we can pass it further. Now let's find a directory path node so we can select where the export would go. Also search for boolean to add an option of whether we want to export DWG as well or not. Connect a flatten list to both PDF and DWG export names and go all the way to the beginning and connect sheets to view in DWG export node and sheets in the export PDF node. The script is now ready, just the final bits to indicate inputs that would appear when we launch Dynamo Player. Right click on View Sets and select Is Input. Do the same for Export DWG and Directory Path as we want users to provide this information before running the script. Now we need to save the script and launch Dynamo Player. Once you have it open, specify the folder with the script where you saved it. Click on the script and specify the input value such as directory path, whether you want DWG or not, and the view set which you want to export. Once you press run, you could see Revit would start the export process. 
If you are new to Revit 2022 or 23, you would see that there is no need to select file path for each PDF. I hope you like this video and see you next time. Thank you.